Do you ever feel like just hopping on a plane, taking a little adventure, and going somewhere that you've never been before? Well, today, that's exactly what we are going to do. So come on, join me as I check out Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I found a great fare through this company called Spirit Airlines. The catch is the seats do not recline and you will be kept up all night by this sound. Annoying. Oh, and the drink tables, they're pretty small. Anyway, it's time for a smooth landing into the Pittsburgh International Airport. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to welcome you to Pittsburgh with an early arrival time of 6.03 a.m. Remind me to never take a red-eye flight again. But at least we're here now. And this airport is actually pretty cool. There's a lot of attention to detail here. It reminds me of being in the Vegas airport. Plenty of fancy upscale shopping. And a martini bar that starts serving at 5 a.m. And what's this up there hanging from the ceiling? It's a mobile by my favorite artist, Alexander Calder. Oh, and you Starbucks mug collectors. They've got two to pick up here. You have to take this underground tram to get from the main terminal to the outskirts of the airport. This is a big airport. And then on the way to baggage plane, my favorite part of any trip, is it just me, or is watching luggage go by on these carousels hypnotizing? Maybe it's just me. Anyway, let's get on with our trip. Pittsburgh is apparently home to these massive tunnels. And right now, we're approaching the Fort Pitt Tunnel, which will take us straight into downtown Pittsburgh. This is the longest tunnel that I've ever driven through. Okay, I think I'll shut up for about a full two minutes and let you sit back and uh, be hypnotized by this endlessly long tunnel under this mountain. I'll check back with you in a few minutes. The downtown area is surprisingly clean and modern and safe, full of really interesting architecture, both modern and classic. Here's a sign you don't see every day. Be nice, kindness zone. I think I'm gonna like this city. 
Driving around here, I feel like I'm really going to enjoy my stay in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It's so much more clean and modern than Los Angeles. I could spend all day just driving around, looking at these buildings. This is pretty epic. Anyway, by now I'm sure you're wondering why I'm in Pittsburgh. Why I'm in this strange city. Well, stay tuned because I've got some great videos coming up showing some of the awesome things that you can do here. So stay tuned to this channel. I hope to see you soon.